For the week ending May 9th, 25% of the U.S. crop had been planted, which is in line with the five-year average. In the West, 75% of the crop had been planted, which is just under the five-year average of 78%. In the Mid-South, planting was slightly ahead of the five-year average in Mississippi, with 35% planted, but all other states in this region were behind the five-year average, likely due to excess moisture. In Arkansas, 19% had been planted as compared to the five-year average of 35%. In Louisiana, 30% of the crop had been planted as compared to the five-year average of 49%. In Missouri, 10% had been planted as as compared to the five-year average of 39%. Only 3% of the Tennessee crop had been planted as compared to the five-year average of 21%. In the Southeast, planting in North Carolina, South Carolina, and Virginia was ahead of the five-year average with 25% planted in North Carolina, 40% planted in South Carolina, and 35% planted in Virginia. In Alabama and Georgia, planting was behind the five-year average with 27% planted in Alabama and 22% planted in Georgia. In the Southwest, planting in all states was slightly ahead of the five-year pace with 13% planted in Kansas, 18% in Oklahoma, and 25% in Texas. Some areas of Texas did receive some much-needed rainfall last week, although not enough to alleviate drought conditions.